Hi again. Today I will show you how to assign a paragraph styles to a FrameMaker 2019 document and also show you just a little bit how to edit these paragraph styles if we don't like the default styles. So here is our uh, sample text right here and the first thing we should do is to display uh, format paragraphs paragraph designer and also the paragraph catalog. The catalog lists all the default paragraph styles. The ones with the check marks right next to them are the ones that are used in this document. So we can list this uh, paragraph styles in a number of different ways. Just click the options button and you will see that now it's showing everything, all the styles. Now by clicking this, we can show those styles that are used in this document before all the others. Now this list can be real long. It could be 30, 50, 60 styles depending on your document and it can get real confusing, hard to track sometimes if you don't group the used ones first. Now here are the other options. We can say show only the used formats, right? So these are all the paragraph styles used in this document. Or we can also show only unused formats. These are not used in this document. And we can delete all unused for, uh, formats. And I will leave the customized list to another video. For the purposes of this video, let's see, let's show all, but let's show the used paragraph styles before unused. Okay, so these are the ones that are used. Now, when I click my cursor, uh, the normal turns bold, which means this is uh, a normal uh, paragraph style. Now, to change this into, let's see, body style, I just click on body and it just shifted from a non-serif font to a serif font. Looks like uh, Times Roman, I'm not sure. Now here, let's see, let's say we have a title, chapter title and we want to assign the heading one style and by the way you can just click and drag the paragraph uh, catalog right next to your text for easier workflow and all you have to do is click heading one so now this has the style heading one we go further down here it says rule number two. Let's imagine we want to assign heading two to it. All we need to do is click heading two. And then another heading two here. Another heading two. Now it is important to assign uh, these heading styles because uh, we will be using them later on to compile our uh, table of contents. Again, heading two, etc. But as you can see, the heading two is not even. Like this heading two and this heading two uh, are not the same. The reason is uh, you have to be careful. There are two heading twos. One has a space in between. 
So you have to be very, very careful when assigning uh, these paragraph styles. You just want to make sure that either there are no spaces or you are clicking on the correct one in order to have uniformity throughout your document. Okay. Now let's say we don't like the heading one the way it is because it looks so similar to heading two and we want to edit it. To edit it, we need the paragraph uh, designer. We go to format, paragraphs, and we select paragraph designer. Now in paragraph designer, we select heading one. So let's say I want to edit this heading one and I want it to be Arial. If you click A, press the key A, it'll take you to all paragraph styles that start with A. So I select Arial, select 24 points and color blue. I click apply and see now my heading one has changed. Now, if there were other heading ones, I would change all of them at the same time by clicking update style. Now let's do that in our for our heading two style. Let's say I want to change the color of heading two to red and increase the font size to 18 and I want it italic. Now I click but see the other heading two styles are still not changed. To do that I click update style. Now all heading twos have changed to italic, red and a little larger font. So this is the basics of how you uh, edit uh, paragraph styles. What if uh, our document had more than uh, one column? Okay, let's go to column layout and let's say we have three columns with a very small gap in between and the one side head, one inch side head, again with a small gap, here again, small gap. Now, I change the whole uh, flow of text. Now, I don't have to have this uh, title, chapter title squished in to a single column like that. Now to make it extend all over the page, I go to the pagination tab and here in column is selected. Now if I select side head, now it, the title is listed in the side head, but it kind of looks ugly, right? So what about if I wanted all across the columns? Now our chapter title extends all over uh, all these three columns. What if I wanted to extend across the side head as well? Then I select across all columns and side heads. See? Now the title extends all across the page. Now I can do the same for heading two if I want it across all columns. And if I want all the other heading two headers extend that way across all three columns, I click update style. So that way now you have all heading two styles uh, extending across all columns. So there's a lot to editing paragraph styles, but in this video I have shown you just a taste of all the things you can do very easily, very easily in FrameMaker 2019. So good luck to you 
and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.